Welcome back. Certainly we love dogs, man's best friend, but our four-legged friends can have a bite to their bark, especially if they're in a stressful situation. So if you're bitten by a friend's dog or even that of a stranger, there are a few steps you need to take to protect yourself. Here today to help us understand more is Caitlin Sanford, who's a partner and personal injury attorney at Herling Clark Law Firm. Very interesting topic because you say this happens a lot more than people realize. Yeah, unfortunately it does. I mean, I'm a dog lover. Mm -hmm. Most people are dog lovers, but they are animals and sometimes accidents happen and People need to know what their options are when something really untoward happens. And certainly if that does happen, what are the steps we need to take right away? Yeah, so I think the first thing is that if you've suffered a dog bite, um, get medical attention, mm -hmm. right? Even if it is some, a friend of yours, right? Mm -hmm. You need to make sure that you're not gonna develop an infection. If, you know, unfortunately you need stitches, you do wanna go to the emergency room. Um, you're gonna wanna make sure that you're doing everything you can to preserve your own health. Mm -hmm. uh, the other thing is that you're gonna want to, if you don't know the identity mm -hmm. of the um, dog owner, see if you can ascertain that, right? If you're at a park and you're bit by a dog or a dog park or any place like that, see if you can track down the owner so that if additional information is needed, rabies information, sure. things like that, you can get that. Is it common for people who are injured in a dog bite to pursue legal action? Yeah, it is actually. I mean, the big deal oftentimes is not the medical expenses. It, it tends to happen most frequently with children mm. because children approach dogs and sure. they get bit on places that are visible, right? Their arms, their faces, things like that. Mm -hmm. And in those situations, there can be a disfiguring event mm -hmm. and it is common to reach out to a trusted personal injury attorney to see what you know your options are as a parent of a young mm -hmm. person or even if you're an adult who's bit, just to make sure you know what your options are. Let's talk about dog owners. What do they need to know? Yeah, great question. So one of the things that's really important is um, make sure that when you own a dog that you know if you have coverage under your mm -hmm. homeowner's mm -hmm. policy, right? There are, there are breed exclusions and some people oh. don't know that. <laughs> so some policies won't allow you to have certain types of dogs um, and provide coverage in the event there is a bite. So I think it's important to make sure that you know that there's coverage it just in case your dog were to bite someone. Um, the other thing that's very important is make sure your dog is up to date mm. on, you know, uh, the li your license is up to date, and also, of course, all your know, vaccines, shots, things mm. like that. I know in a lot of car crash situations, people are supposed to take pictures. Is this also a situation where some photos might be helpful? Absolutely, okay. right? So again, because there's not a lot of medical care and treatment most of the time needed with respect to a dog injury, and frankly, oftentimes there are sutures or, or stitches mm -hmm. added right away. If you can get some uh, photographic evidence of uh, your injuries before those sutures or stitches are added, so that's a great thing to do. And also sometimes it's even taking a picture of the dog that bit you again in that event that sure. you don't know who the owner is. And reaching out to a team such as yours just to get some questions answered. Absolutely. Yes. Well, yeah. You can do that in a lot of neighborhoods near you because Hurling Clark has offices in Appleton, Green Bay, Oshkosh, and Wapaka. If you have questions, give them a call. 920-739-7366 online, hurlingclark.com. Thanks for a great discussion. Yeah, thank you so much.